Today we have Rosaria here who is going to finish her three month placement with Operia and going back to her home country. So first of all, Rosaria, could you please introduce yourself? Oh, hi, my name is Rosaria. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Portugal and I'm now finishing my three months as an au pair in China. Mm -hmm. uh, so Rosaria, could you tell us a typical day for you? Okay, so like when I came here, Nana was, which is like my kid, she was still in school, so, mm -hmm. and now we had like the summer vacation, so mm -hmm. the routine was different, but like while she's in school, the day starts uh, dropping her at school, mm -hmm. and then I come home and I go to Mandarin classes, or I do something else during the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and then picking her, picking up for, from school. Mm. And it really depends after that because we don't mm. have a fixed schedule. But sometimes I go with her to English classes. Um, other times uh, we read together or we mm -hmm. practice like some words we do like exercises with vocabulary mm. and it's mostly that mm -hmm. what do you think is the most interesting part with the the kid oh the most interesting part was how her behavior uh, her behavior changed over time because mm -hmm. At the beginning, like the first two weeks, it was really easy. Mm. I thought, okay, this is easy because she she was still not used to me. Mm -hmm. But when she was used, she she was like, sometimes <laughs> she was very naughty and she started plotting against me. But uh, now at the end, her behavior uh, improved mm. a lot and our relationship is so much better. That's good. Uh, what memories will you take back to your home country? Oh, um, I don't know, a lot. Uh, like, I will take the memories of like all the time that I had with my host family because we did some fun activities. Mm. Uh, and also with some colleagues, other au pairs, mm. like a lot of memories too. And of course, the memories of my travels as well. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me uh, about your travel? Okay, so yeah, mostly I used to travel around Beijing, like mm. finding new places, like touristic places, um, because most of them you can do like in the morning or in a full day. And mm. But then I had two weeks for myself in the middle of the program and I could go to Tianjin. Mm -hmm. I went to the beach and like to experience nice. a different city. Mm -hmm. And I also went to Dandong, uh, Dandong in the border with North Korea. Mm -hmm. So by yourself? To, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I got to see actually just see North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. How did you um how, how did you, why did you decide to go to Dandong? It's not very popular. Yeah, I know, but I was reading, I was like searching places to, to visit and I, mm -hmm. I read that in Dandong you can experience the North Korean culture because yeah. you have like typical uh, cuisine, North Korean mm -hmm. cuisine, and you can like try cl North Korean clothes <laughs> and yeah, you really get to experience a little bit uh, uh -huh. their culture. Ah, uh, that's cool. Did you try the clothes? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so, during the program, what's your favorite culture activity? Oh, my favorite culture activity was the when we made mooncakes. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the... Um, the Mid-Autumn Festival is a very important festival in China yeah. and we got to learn more about it and to mm -hmm. experience it a little bit. So about the Mid-Autumn Festival, what do you remember about the celebrations? Oh, I remember that 
uh, it's like the second most important festival in China after mm -hmm. the Chinese New Year. Yeah. And I remember the story about the suns <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the moon. <laughs> the I think. moon. Yeah, I. I mean, I remember it, but mm -hmm. not the names. And but I think it's. I mean, it's important, and I got to feel it, like, more closely with mm -hmm. this cultural activity. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I think it was the most important one. Mm -hmm. Did you Did you um, watch the moon on the night? Oh, I don't remember, but yeah, I was actually outside with my host family, mm -hmm. but I don't remember <laughs> looking at the moon. <laughs> uh, so, um, do you think this summer is different to your other summers that you spent? Oh yeah, that's for sure, that's for mm -hmm. sure, because uh, I mean it's in a different country, in a different continent, yeah, uh, in a totally different culture. Mm -hmm. But I think it it is really worth it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what um, what kind of um, uh, changes do you think the program has brought to your life? Oh, actually, uh, a lot of them because I mean, like I improved some skills, like mm -hmm. to, how to deal with children and to yeah. deal with other people in yeah. general and how to face challenges when you're in a new country and in a yeah. totally different culture. Mm -hmm. Like, because I, I don't know Chinese, so for me it was really hard sometimes at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And also as a person, because, I mean, when you're in a, in a living in a different country with such a, dif uh, with such a different culture, yeah. uh, you get to be more tolerant, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you find uh, your, like uh, difficult to explore the city because the language is different and uh, people think differently? Oh, actually no, because I mean, everywhere mm -hmm. I go, I thought, I felt very welcomed mm -hmm. and I mean if you have uh, a phone these days you can go everywhere so <laughs> the translation yeah yeah it, it was really easy mm, cool. um, and so if you have the if you have the chance to choose again would you choose the au pair program in yeah the future? yeah that's for sure mm -hmm. yeah yeah I would Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you have any final messages to anyone maybe looking to come to China in the future to, for the program? Okay, if you're thinking about coming to China, don't think twice, just come. <laughs> yeah, I think you won't regret it and you will learn a lot and you will have like a different summer or a different gap year, wherever you're looking for, yeah, you will have uh, a great experience. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you, Rosaria. Oh, you have welcome. a safe flight back home. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah.